One of the core principles of a clean architecture is keeping your layers separate. But what happens when your inner layers need to reach out to the outer layers and then breaking this rule? It's a common trap that catches many developers when they first start with a clean architecture. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to avoid it and keep your architecture clean. Hey friends, Patrick here from the Dot Web Academy. And as you can see here, we have a solution open in Visual Studio. And first, I really want to check out the situation here we've got because the solution is actually really quick, which is an interface and to place an interface in the right place, in the right project. And here in this project that I've got here, this example project, it's the following situation. It is, uh, well, it's a character game health example service in the end. So as you can see here, we have red squiggly lines. Why is that? Because we have no dependencies so far in our projects and I wanna add them together with you. But again, the uh, goal of this application is simply you have a character, the character collects a health pack, it's a game in essence, right? And then we need external services to decide how big is this health pack? How many hit points should we restore with that thing? So here in the program CS of the presentation layer, which is just a console application, doesn't have to be a web app, maybe you're used to that, but that's not necessary. We have all the services here and then a character, and then we just want to collect a health pack. But for that, again, in the domain now, we see this is our character class using an I health pack service. So this is the interface of the health pack service that we want to use. But as you can see, to be able to use that thing, we would need a dependency here. So the domain project needs to know of the application project here, domain layer, application layer. And this is not what you want in a clean architecture, right? So the actual way should be that everything points to the domain. So let's let's just do that real quick. So in the domain, we have no reference at all, but now the application here, we can add a project reference and this shall be the domain, all right? Then, now we have this thing here, then we need the infrastructure layer as well for external services. For instance, in this infrastructure layer, if you wanted to use authentication stuff, external services for authentication or for database stuff using Entity Framework, then you would put all that here in the infrastructure layer. But to be able to access this, then you again, kinda need a reference here. But first we, add a project reference from the uh, infrastructure to the application layer. And now here in the presentation layer, as you can see on the picture, we can add a project reference to the application layer, but might be the case that you also need something from the infrastructure. And this is the big exception, let's say that many developers use, they just reference the infrastructure layer and since we now also uh, have then from the infrastructure layer, the reference to the application, we also have the domain, so everything works. So presentation has a reference to the infrastructure, infrastructure to application, and then the application to the domain. But still, we have this problem, right? So this character here needs the I health pack service, but we are not able or we shouldn't break the rule and have a reference to the application layer. So what can we do? Well, we can move the I health pack service to the domain like that. Namespace here then is domain and we don't need this thing here. All right, so now here we only have the health pack service, uh, the I health pack service, and we can add this using reference now using domain. And this means that we define everything that we need in our domain layer and now the character here knows of the I health pack service, but the actual implementation then is in the application layer. All right. And pretty much the same thing is true for the infrastructure layer here. So what we can do is again, we can move the I external health pack service to the application layer because the application wants to, the application layer wants to use something from the infrastructure. So this means here again, we change the namespace this is now in our application layer, we can remove this interface here. And now 
we again add our using directive and everything should work. I know here in the program CS, well, we can add several references actually, like that, and this thing as well. So now we have all together. All right, so there shouldn't be an error anymore. And now let's just try to run this thing. All right, here's the result. You see no error anymore. Collected small health pack, restored 10 HP, total HP, and so on. But this is not really uh, what this is all about, right? You do not really need the logic of all these services. I just thought this is a fun example. But anyways, the important part is use interfaces. This means the character class in the domain layer is now able to get the health pack service and the get health restoration method. And then this thing here, the health pack service is able to use the external health pack service to use the method determine health restoration. And this thing can be found here, great stuff. And again, I have to emphasize this, in the infrastructure layer or all that stuff that you use in the infrastructure layer, this can be tricky. For instance, when you're using ASP.NET Core identity, then there is this application user object, a user object that you want to modify, meaning you want to add more properties to that thing and could be the case that you need this object then we do this in the dot and web academy there you see a deep dive of that but maybe you want to use it and the big trick the solution there is to add an interface to the application domain wherever you need it so you have an i user and then you grab this interface and use it for your actual user that you want to use then for ASP.NET Core identity. I hope this makes sense. If you want to see more about that, please tell me that in the comments. And now that you fix this issue, what about more advanced techniques like CQRS or the mediator pattern? These are also very essential tools when working with clean architecture. Well, I've got a video for you. Just click on this thing here on the screen for a deep dive and then you will learn everything you need to know.